Hi students, now we are going to learn application of matrices. So, we are going to solve the system of linear equations using matrix concept. So, in this concept four methods are there. The first one is matrix inversion method, second one Kramer's rule, third method is Gaussian elimination method and fourth one we are going to discuss is rank method. So, these are the four methods given in our book to solve a system of linear equations using matrix concept. So, first let us see the procedure for matrix inversion method. So, first we have to write the matrix equation Ax is equal to B. Here A, A means the coefficients of all the unknowns and X represents the set of all unknown elements uh, written in a single column and likewise B, the matrix B represents the set of all constant terms in the system of linear equations written in single column. So, let us see A while doing problems I will explain. So, first step we have to write the matrix equation Ax is equal to B. So, from that we have to calculate this X that is unknown values X is equal to bring this A to the right hand side. So, it will be A inverse. So, X is equal to A inverse B. So, second step we have to find A inverse, inverse of the matrix that is 1 by determinant of A into A j A and then third step substitute the A inverse value here. So, X is equal to A inverse into B. So, find the product of A inverse matrix and B matrix. Then we get the values of uh, the unknowns that is X matrix we get. Now, let us see one example. Matrix inversion method example solve 2x plus 5y equal to minus 2 and x plus 2y equal to minus 3. So, already we have seen the procedure for matrix inversion method. Now, we are going to apply for this uh, problem. So, for this the first step we have to write the matrix equation Ax is equal to B. So, the matrix equation is Ax is equal to B where a matrix. So, A means here the coefficients of all the unknowns. So, here the unknowns are x and y only 2 cross 2 matrix we get. So, coefficients of all the unknowns that is 2, 5 from the first equation and the coefficients of the unknowns from the second equations are 1 and 2. So, here the matrix A is 2, 5, 1, 2 and the matrix X is equal to unknown values written in single column. Here the unknowns are x and y. So, x and y. So, the matrix X represents the unknowns as a single column. Then matrix B is equal to the constant terms in the given equations. Here the constants are minus 2 and minus 3. You have to write the constant terms in a single column that is matrix B. So, always keep the constant terms in the right hand side. So, take the constant values minus 2 and minus 3. If you write it in a single column that represents the matrix B. So, these are the matrix A, X and B. So, what we have to find? Here we have to find the matrix X which is equal to X and Y. So, solve means we have to find the unknown values X and Y. So, from this X matrix X is equal to bring this A to the right hand side becomes a inverse B. So, to find the, the X matrix that is X and Y values, we have to multiply the matrix A inverse and B. So, for that first let us find A inverse. So, to find A inverse, uh, before that we have to check whether A is a singular matrix or non-singular matrix. If A is singular, then inverse does not exist. So, already we have seen. So, first let us verify whether A is singular or non-singular. So, that for that we have to find the value of the determinant A that is determinant 2, 5, 1, 2. So, the determinant value is 4 minus 5 minus 1. So, not equal to 0. So, since determinant of A value not equal to 0, A inverse exists. Now, let us find A inverse. What is the definition for A inverse? A inverse is equal to 1 by determinant of A into adjoint of A that is 1 by determinant value here is minus 1 and adjoint of the given matrix A we have to find. Since it is a 2 cross 2 matrix we can directly write the adjoint isn't it we know the procedure for 2 cross 2 matrix for adjoint we have to interchange the main diagonal entries 
and we have to change the symbol for the subdiagonal entry. So I am going to write adjoint A. So interchange, after interchanging also the very same 2 and 2 will come. Then in the subdiagonals we have to change the symbols. There are plus 5 so we have to write minus 5 and there are plus 1 here we have to write minus 1. Now 1 by minus 1 so that is minus 1. Bring that minus sign inside. So we get minus 2, 5, 1 and minus 2. So A inverse is equal to minus 2, 5, 1, minus 2. Now let us find X which is equal to A inverse into B. So A inverse is minus 2, 5, 1, minus 2 into B matrix. That is the constants written in single column. So this is our B matrix. Now let us find the product of these two. Now let us find the product of these two matrices. So a row and column. So 4 minus 15. And second row this column means we get minus 2 plus 6. So the answer is minus 11 and 6 minus 2, 4. That is X matrix which is nothing but XY isn't it. So that implies X is equal to minus 11 and Y is equal to 4. This is the solution for the given linear equation. So by using matrix inversion method we have solved this equation. So this is the procedure. Step 1 write the matrix equation. Step 2 find A inverse and then find the product of A inverse and B to get the XY values. So same procedure for 3 cross 3 matrix also we have to apply. For XY and Z term will come there. So the very same procedure for 3 cross 3 matrix. Now let us see the procedure for Kramer's rule. Consider the system of equations A11x plus A12y plus A13z equal to B1 and A21x plus A23y plus A23z equal to B2 and the third one is A31x plus A32y plus A33z equal to B3. So first let us write delta. So delta means nothing but our uh, A, A matrix. In matrix inversion method, how will you write the matrix A by writing by collecting all the coefficients of the unknowns, isn't it? Here the unknowns are x, y and z. So now collect the coefficients. So the first row becomes a11, a12, a13, these three coefficients. And the second row of the determinant is a21, a22, a23. And the third row a31, a32, a33. So collect all the coefficients that is delta. And then find delta x. Delta x means replace the first column by the constant terms. Here the constant terms are b1, b2, b3. So replace the first column by the constant terms. Then second and third column, columns being same. Then while writing delta y, replace the second column by the constant terms b1, b2, b3 and the first and third columns being same. Then while writing delta z, Replace the third column by the constant terms. So first and second columns being same. Now the third column becomes B1, B2, B3. And then calculate all the determinant values. All these determinant values we have to calculate. That is delta, delta X, delta Y, delta Z. So calculate all the determinant values. Now to find the value of X is equal to delta X by delta. That is uh, delta X1 value we will get uh, the determinant value, we have to divide that value by delta and then y is equal to delta y by delta. So, similarly, z is equal to delta z by delta. So, this is the procedure for Kramer's rule, right? Delta, delta x, delta y, delta z, here all are determinants. So, find the value of all the determinants and then calculate the values of x, y and z. So, this is the second method. Kramer's rule to solve the system of linear equations. Now we are going to see an example for Kramer's rule. Already we have seen Kramer's rule. So by using that rule we are going to solve this system of linear equations. Here three equations are given. Now we are going to solve by using Kramer's rule. So first we have to write delta. Here all are determinants. Delta, delta x, delta y and delta z all are determinants. Already we have seen in the procedure part. 
so first let us write delta so delta means we have to write all the coefficients as a determinant just like our uh, a matrix in matrix inversion method here delta is equal to the determinant value of all the coefficients 3 3 minus 1 and from the second equation 2 minus 1 2 and from the third equation the coefficients are 4 3 2 now we have to find the value of this determinant that is 3 into minus 2 minus 6 minus 3 into 4 minus 8 then minus 1 into 6 plus 4 so if we simplify 3 into minus 8 minus 3 into minus 4 minus 1 into 10 that is minus 24 plus 12 minus 10 so the answer is minus 22 so minus 22 so this is our delta value so if delta not equal to 0 then only the Kramer's rule is applicable already we know this isn't it so here delta not equal to 0 so we can proceed so next we have to find delta x so the determinant delta x is obtained by replacing the first column elements that is all the x coefficients replacing the first column elements by the constant terms so here the constant terms are 11 9 25 so replace the first column by 11 9 25 and the second and third columns being same minus 1 2 2 now now expand this determinant now the value of this determinant is minus 44 i'm directly writing the answer so the value of the determinant is minus 44 then find delta y delta y means the determinant here we have to replace the second in delta we have to replace the second column by the constant terms so the first column being same and replace the second by the constant terms that is 11 9 25 then third column being same minus 1 2 2 so if we expand this determinant the value of value is minus 66 so i am directly writing uh, already you know the procedure to expand the determinant so i am directly writing the answers so then delta is it so here replace the third column by the constant term so from delta first to two columns being same 3 minus 1 and 3 replace the third column in delta by the constant terms that is 11 9 25 now value of this determinant is minus 88 now let us find x y and z values so already we have seen in the procedure part x is equal to delta x by delta so delta x is minus 44 and delta minus 22 so the answer is 2 x is equal to 2 y is equal to delta y by delta that is delta y what we have calculated here is minus 66 by minus 22 that is 3 and then z is equal to delta z by delta delta z value we have calculated as minus 88 by delta value minus 22 that is 4 so here the solution is x is equal to 2 y equal to 3 and z equal to 4 so if you want to verify just substitute these values in the given equation now all the three equations will be satisfied then your answer is right so this is Kramer's rule so here the condition is Kramer's rule is applicable only when delta not equal to 0 because if delta 0 means uh, x y z values are not defined in the denominator part if we put 0 means the values are not defined so here the only condition is Kramer's rule is applicable only when delta not equal to 0 so find delta x delta y delta z using that we can calculate the values of x y and z